everybody, my name is Amanda and today we are talking about more exam, IB exam revision preparation and today's video will be all about the sciences. If you did not watch my video about general exam tips then I would recommend watching that video first. Before we jump into it, I just want to clarify that I did biology standard level and chemistry standard level, although I did up to topic 8 higher level in chemistry but then I changed it but still I did a lot of chemistry higher level but I did exams for standard level pretty much. So although my experience are taken from chemistry and biology I hope you're able to implement these into other science subjects like physics and the like so hopefully you'll find this video helpful and without further ado, let's jump into the tips. The first and most important thing I'd say for any science subject or any subject in general, but in particular the science ones, is to work so closely with your syllabus. So my tips is generally that you print out your entire syllabus, all the papers, and then you go through it with three color markers. Whatever color you may choose, I had like green, orange, and yellow, whatever. And then you mark out exactly which points in every topic that you either know well, you kind of know, or that you don't know at all. That way you'll narrow down what you need to work with, what you need to work on, and how you're going to structure your revision. That will definitely reveal what areas you need to practice more on and less on, and then you don't need to waste your time going over things you actually do know fairly well. So one thing I brought up in my general video was the past exam papers, and it's vital that you do so as many as you possibly can in the sciences. That is because you see so many patterns and recurring questions and things that they will always ask about. There are those certain things, the core things, that that will turn up in each and every paper and if you can nail those then you're far on your way to a good grade. So just doing past papers and doing them either timed or not timed. I did not have an issue with the time for my science subjects but if you feel like timing might be an issue for you then definitely do your practice papers timed so you know how much time you are to spend on each question and that sort of thing. So past exam papers, lifesavers. It's also very important that you try out different types of learning and by that I mean that we all learn in different ways. I touched upon this a bit in my other video as well, but it's so important knowing whether you learn best by rewriting things or telling people things or being told things. And just some of the tips that I tried, some that my friends tried were that you actually go through your biology or chemistry or physics or whatever book from cover to cover and just copying down the biggest themes. It's so time consuming, it's quite boring as well, but if you feel like actually writing things down is the best way that you learn, then that's the way to go. I had two friends who worked together on a project and they rewrote our entire big biology book and it took them a long time but they both did really well on the actual exams because they found what worked best for them. Also make sure that you do take your time to explain things to other people, that's why working in groups work really well and also explain things to people who don't, who aren't on your course like your family or someone who's not taking a science because if you can explain a complex thing to someone who knows practically nothing about it, then that's when you know that you know it really, really well. And also you have your teachers and also videos. YouTube is your best friend when it comes to science revision because there's so many sources on there that will help you a lot. I will leave all of the videos I know in the description box, but they're everything from Richard Thornley's chemistry videos to Bozeman Zions to crash course biology, anatomy, you name it. And I will leave as much as I can possibly think about in the description box below just to help you out and then you can work your way from there. One thing that is important to note is that you have to make sure that you know your practicals as well and they are often described in the books but make sure that you go through all the practicals you have done throughout the years and just think about how you did them, what the results were, and even though you should not spend too much time on this, it is still quite important that you do it because they will ask about it in the exams. Especially go through the ones that are in the biology book and even though they might seem irrelevant, like I don't know about, I don't care about this study about lepsin in mice. I think that was the one that turned up in our exam or if it was a part, I don't know, I don't know. But still it 
they will show up in the exam and if you have read them through and copied them down and or you at least know them then that will make your work so much easier even though they do provide you with data you'll know a lot about the background and you'll nail the question pretty much. Another thing you could try that might work for you, it did not work for me but I know it works for so many people and that is your flashcards and you just have to make sure that you implement them in the right way because I tend to put a lot of time and effort into actually making them but then I don't really use them or if I do I tend to think like oh I can't remember this and then I turn to the back and see oh I did know that but obviously I didn't so that's why I feel like you have to work with them really closely to make them work for you. I guess I did not try them out enough, but I felt I found other things that work better for me, but flashcards are a lifesaver to so many people, so if you have not tried them, at least give them a go. And I will leave you with one of the most important things about science, and that is understanding your connections. And by that I mean that you can't really learn an entire science without really understanding anything. You can't just learn an entire science off by heart. So make sure that you really understand your core concepts and then things will work from there. I talked to Bethan about it and she takes both chemistry and biology and see, she says that it's very important that you really understand your things and also that you connect like if you know this then that will lead you on to remembering this. So just Making sure that you make the connections between the different parts of the course will help you understand it better and also to remember it easier. So that was pretty much all I had to say for this science video and I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and also if you have suggestions for future videos that you want me to make about the exams or just in general, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love your feedback because it's really important that I target these things towards topics that you're really interested in. But just make sure to subscribe to not miss any future videos and I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye!